I was born in Venezuela in the state of Aragua and I lived there my entire life until I was about nine years old and then I ended up moving to the US but my whole family is still back there so I still have a lot of connections when I go back and I get to talk to them all the time as well. At the age of seven I was diagnosed with a tumor that pretty much deformed uh, my face and so I needed treatment right away. The doctor said she needs a bone transplant but she can only get it at 21 years old. That was a little too much for us to handle so my mother decided to figure out a way to bring me to the U.S. because medically it would have been better. So we moved here and I got all my treatments uh, here in the U.S. The hardest thing about moving from Venezuela, I think it was just leaving my father because I didn't really get to grow up with him even though I had communication with him. It was really hard for us to sort of have experiences together and, you know, be that fa have that father-daughter relationship. So I think that was the hardest part for me. We have a ladies' leadership day that we do with our group of girls in our business and we get to go and do something fun. So last year, about a year ago, we went paddle boarding and I discovered that I liked being on the board. So there was a race that was going on and of course my competitive side went out there and I won the race. So it was something that I discovered about myself but you also get to have a lot of um, good times with your girlfriend. I am the first person in my family to graduate from college and it's something that I'm really proud of because I have a lot of cousins who look up to me and so I think it's something that I can motivate them with and make them understand that they can graduate from college and they can do something for their futures. I think one of the qualities that I can possess as the next Miss USA is having leadership and having a servant heart because it's not really about you, it's about the other people and the people that you can impact. If I have a title for one year and I do absolutely nothing with it, it doesn't mean anything. But when you take your eyes off of yourself and you put it onto somebody else, that's when magic happens. 